And she's up against two players of the highest quality here who are not going to give her any inch. If she drops short like that to... Oh, it's Harpish, but she pierces that. She had to reach for that. She got enough bat on it, and it races away. That's nicely tucked away. That will race away. Got her! So she drops it in short. She challenges Redmayne. And she picks up another big scalp, and she's announcing herself in this competition quickly. Oh, that's got to be gone. First ball, we'll have to talk about her next time, because Ainsworth's on a hat trick. She's got to slip in. There's been six hat tricks in the WBBL. Oh! And she asks a, an excellent question. That's nicely timed. And beats the infield here, and it's unlikely to be reined in. It's Alana King, who gets taken straight downtown first up. Harris now becomes the next really big wicket for the Scorchers. Or oh, oh, just oh. thumps it out of the ground just about. It's up into the Duncan Thompson stand, and it was pure. The minute it left the bat. Hammered forward and point. That is glorious. So she doesn't get all of that, but certainly gets enough of it. Oh, it almost went. 50s up and... And that's flays through backward point for another boundary. Well, that's gone again, and it won't be caught, and it's going to clear the pickets, and it's the second time she's done it. Oh, well, boy. there's another one. It's as good as anything she's done so far. It's her third over the fence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's right. Every now, every now and again, as she brings up her 50, and it's a magnificent 50 at that. Every now and again, the, the oppo has just been too good. Yeah. It doesn't happen all the time, but sometimes it, it's just the reality. Catch. Ooh, one oh, one lucky. Gee, that is just hammered. Bad luck still. You're right, mate. Back past the bowler again. Get that, someone. Ooh. They won't. Dang. They won't. Oh, that is just oh, absolutely smashed. And she finds the gap. She, she is a good player when she gets going. Catch. Got her! So Devine drops it short and Dupria holes out. And it's a big, big scalp. Again, didn't get all of it, but enough on this occasion. Brilliant decision to bring her on. And Jonathan goes. What a start from Amy Edgar. Uh, she's box office. There's no doubt about that. And there it is. She knew. <laughs> and she's still six. in it for six. <laughs> it is extraordinary stuff. <laughs> you cannot script this stuff with Grace Harris. Oh. She says, nah, stuff it. I've got a broken handle. I'll still hit it. Oh, my goodness. Look out! Short, and that is just brutalised for him in wicket. Harris on 87. Oh boy. She's hit that magnificent. <laughs> so she didn't get the previous one, she got every bit of that, then she races to 98. And that's up, and it should be caught. There's a couple underneath that they work it out. And the catch is comfortably taken by Edgar, and that's the end of the English woman. And that is the 100. And it is one right out of the top drawer. And delighted you should be, Grace Harris. It doesn't get much better than that. So if she might have missed with the previous one, she doesn't there, and she's bowling these lovely little arm balls at the moment. We'll get... 
Well, that is just magnificent stuff. That is pure control and power. And then she just drops that one a bit short and gets the treatment. And that is miles in the air. It's coming our way. It won't get to the... Yes, it does. And again, it gets away from her and she hammers it. And the record belongs to her now. 11 times she's cleared the rope. That's pretty nicely hit. She hasn't got it all the way, and it's well caught. Excellent stuff. I thought she got a good piece of it, and she did, but unfortunately didn't go all the way. And that is over, and it'll be back-to-back -back boundaries. This is wonderful stuff from Nicola Hancock. Final ball. It's been the Grace Harris show. The catch has gone down. And it'll just be one. Well, it is a mightily imposing total of 229 on the board. They wouldn't have gone there had it not been for Grace Harris, who has rewritten WBBL record books today with an innings that everybody here at North Sydney will remember for a long, long time to come. So beautifully played. We've already seen how quick it is, and that's an excellent start from the English woman. Digs it in, and that will find the rope. Well, she's hammered that. That is a beautiful shot from Mooney. And again, she takes it on, and she looks for the rope, and she clears it comfortably. That's through, that's four, it's beautifully played. Oh. And that's another one. And it's a six again, she's cleared the rope. That's it. That's beautifully placed again. She's on fire, the superstar. Yeah. Oh, that's got a nick, it certainly clipped something on the way through. And that is the end of Winfield Hill. It was a terrific delivery from Simple who got on her quick. And just <laughs> like that, she's away. Catch it! Oh. That's nicely played, finds the gap. She's in good nick here, Beth Mooney. Sorry. Down. Um, yeah, it's it's obviously a great batting wicket, but they were we were striking it, I think 40 or something at the top of the stump, so we sort of um, trying to bolt top of the stumps. Oh, and that's another big hit. Isn't that just exquisite? <laughs> and that, she's hold out. The catch is taken. It is a huge wicket, full stop, full toss. And Devine couldn't put it away, and that is a full stop <laughs> on her innings. Hey, catch it! Got yeah! So Dark is gone. Simple picks up a wicket. In fact, that she picks up her third. Catch it. And she's gone. And that is a telling blow. And Simple has picked up her fourth wicket. Catch it! Is that pretty sweetly? That was a bold effort. So Jones takes on her international teammate. And that is a beautiful shot. That's a great shot. That is beautifully played by Jones. But unfortunately for Edgar, it hasn't been her day. That's certainly her moment. Catch it! And she's gone. So she got one away. She tried to go back to back, and Jonathan picks her up. So that's a leading edge, and that is gone. It's the end of Amy Jones. A big wicket of Amy Jones. Catch it! Catch it! As this one finds the gap and will scoot away to the boundary. Catch it! 
just going to uh, hold. Oh, no, she doesn't. She gets away with it. So Hancock can't take the catch. She made a good effort and good ground to get there. Oh, that just eludes a diving backward point. Charlie Knight, Louie Mills enjoying it. That is beautifully hit. That's a magnificent shot. That's out! Oh, that's out. Yes, it is. <laughs> King in particular trying to access that leg side boundary. Jonathan fires it in, Yorker length. And that is hitting middle stump halfway up. Probably below the sticker, less than halfway up. And King's got to go. Catch Lisa, it. up in the air. This should be taken. And that should be that. Came into the bowling crease under tricky circumstances today. Sophie Devine with a free hit. That is that. It's all over. So they come up 50 runs shy. It was always a tough ask. It was on for the first seven or eight overs. They were a chance, and then the two big wickets had fallen. Mooney following Devine, and once they were gone, it was a bridge too far for the Perth Scorchers. It's a wonderful start to the campaign for the Brisbane Heat.